All right, good morning, guys, YouTube people, world, whoever, wherever. Here, back to a drawing board that I don't want to draw on. Anyway, got the heated seat on and heating up so far. Those are what I have done. Uh, fuel system is incomplete. Uh, the catalyst incomplete. Knox incomplete. And uh, particulate matter filter monitor not complete. So I'm going to go drive the truck around. I do uh, 50, 60 miles. Maybe 100 miles. And... Uh, yeah. And just keep watching them. See if they uh, go away or don't go away. And if they go away, come back. I got packages coming. So I'm going to, uh, if it's warm enough, I'm going to wash the car or wash this truck. Because I got sap all over it. And uh, I'm going to start putting up panel boarding board wall board in the van I must spray insulation and then put the wall board in uh, anyway guys I'm gonna go for a drive don't know where I'm gonna go don't know where I'm gonna end up but somehow somewhere <laughs> man this truck is gutless without the <sighs> all stock it's killing me it's killing the tunes killing the Diesel world. All right, guys. See you guys in the next video. Or sorry, <laughs> will not be a next video. There will be, but um, basically, will be when I'm driving home. And uh, yeah, so let me go drive it. Keep you guys updated. If something clear, something goes. I'll uh, update you guys. So. See you in a little bit. See you in a little bit. Red light's still on. And uh, I'm probably going to take it to Dodge for that. Just so you know. So four. Four incomplete. See how many miles. I reset the meter. Zero set point zero seven. That's when I got fuel. <coughs> Ooh, look at that truck. I can. All right. See you guys in the next in the next little bit. Well, guys, ended up going to the Harbor Freight. Ended up buying three of these, uh, two whites and a black, so that I can. Uh, yeah, I got plans. Let's just let's just say I got plans. Anyway, um, yeah, drive in the truck. I've gone 42.9 miles and I got three left. Not even sure you can see that, but I got three parameters to set. Um, I was not planning on going to Harbor Freight. <sighs> um, I had uh, coins sitting in my center console forever for a car wash and uh, I said oh screw it let me go use those coins for this car wash that they probably are only for and uh, yeah um, went to the car wash washed the truck didn't do that great of a job but whatever I got rid of the coins car wash. I don't know if they would work on other car washes. I would say no, but um, yeah, I got this and my the Hercules bandsaw I don't know what it's called bandsaw, bench bandsaw thing um, but yeah, so you can see in the bed of the truck it's a 
I've got three of these boxes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of that welding bench thing and I'm going to use these for storage to uh, create more room in my toolbox and to store on the bottom I'll use the bottom to store all my blow molded tools all the tools like the hydraulic stuff and bearing pullers just to get them off the floor and uh yeah, basically just want something to put the tools so I can roll around. Um, anyway, I'll do a video when I get home, but I'm just letting you guys know that I'm not planning on going. I spent $700, but whatever it is what it is. Uh, they were cheap, $189. I guess wouldn't be say cheap, but they're $189. I was trying to get uh, all white. I tried getting all gray. They never sold out of the gray. They just had the one on the display. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll leave them in the box. Maybe I'll resell them. Maybe that's what I'll do. For people that didn't get them, instead of spending $270, they could buy it from me. <laughs> they could buy it from me for $220. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to use them. I got to use them. I gotta do stuff with the garage. I wanna be able to park the Yamaha in the garage. And uh, other plans, other plans for the garage. Anyway, all right guys. So when I get home, I'll let you guys know how it's doing. What codes, more codes, less codes, same codes. Back. Okay guys, so, so far no leaks, no fires. But uh, great heater thing I installed seems to be working. No check engine lights. But hose down there. It's dry now, finally. I've been fighting that since I got the truck with uh, that stupid plastic fitting. So I think that's all good. I think everything's good. Um, other than I still don't have the parameters, the readiness code things set. Um, but yeah, so I think everything's good. I just had to top off the coolant. The coolant is topped off finally or now it's to the max line. And uh, I think the truck is done, ready to rock and roll. So I lost one of my, this one I took off, but the other side I lost it. Lobster. This one blew off yesterday when I went and test drove the truck. <sighs> but the truck doesn't look too dirty now. Um, Still, some sap and stuff on here, but anyway. <sighs> this is what I bought. Oh, Harbor Freight. Bought a black one and two white ones. My plan is I'm going to put all three together. So I'm going to connect connect all three together um lids will be connected eh, maybe not maybe take that back lids are not going to be connected but i'm gonna put them all right here one two three so 90 inches i think that's eight foot bench thing right there um but it's only so deep so I'm gonna take take all this out today, clean all this out. I gotta do some insulation. I might spray the spray foam insulation in the van um, and let it dry. So anyway, um, yeah, I have my took that little sign off, the hazmat sign thing. 
and then I installed the uh, yeah that's not gonna be fun might have to do something about that so shore power if I need it so shore power and then that block right there it's gonna be switch over from inverter to short power so I just gotta put it on there plug it in wire it up and uh, yeah and then I'm gonna spray a ceiling I'm probably gonna hit this with one more one more can of stuff um, throw a bunch of this foam stuff away and uh, yeah go from there so I gotta spray the doors. I gotta clean the doors first. So I might I might just hose these doors off and spray them. I gotta take this cover off. Oh, I thought that was water. But anyway guys, uh yeah, got a lot to do and uh no time to film it, so Your tire can go under there, I think. Maybe not yet. And uh, yeah, got a lot to do. So we'll show you guys once I'm all done with everything. Probably will be the next video. But truck, I still have to drive the truck. Water's from uh, washing the truck, I believe. Hopefully, because it's just water. Um, but yeah, I will wash the truck actual scrubby dubbies um but i was planning on taking the truck to uh work and then sleeping in it and stuff but i think i'm gonna change the gear oil in the car and take the car again just because i think i could sleep i sleep better in the car then i think i'll be able to then i can sleep better in the truck Oh, that doesn't even make sense. But I can sleep better in here than in the truck. So, um, I think I'm going to take the car one last time before it gets uh, either a new transmission, transmission installed, or I'm going to pull that front diff out probably around Christmas time because we're supposed to get like 12 days off. Probably pull that front diff out take the bearings down to LA and or see if there's numbers on them if there's numbers on them then I can just order the bearings but uh yeah doing laundry just basically testing uh the steam whatever that means it's supposed to be steam feature I'm trying to see what it even does but uh yeah i gotta go i got too much crap to do i gotta pull all this stuff out yeah it's a lot to do all right see you guys in the next video thanks for watching subscribe comment do what you guys do later